so I'm sitting in the new laundry space and we've just finished mud plastering about half of it. Um, covered in dirt. This is the fun way to build a house. <laughs> second day of doing the mud plaster on the new part of the house, which is the bathroom and the master bedroom. Um, I didn't have enough space in my camera yesterday, so I wasn't able to film it, so I'm going to try and do some filming of the actual plastering process today and show you what that looks like. So we are starting from the bottom up. We have our bamboo cage already in place. It's nailed and it's tied for extra precaution because the nails can sometimes come out of the bamboo during the mud plastering process. So we stepped on our mud plaster that we had left over from yesterday. It needed a lot of water on top so it didn't dry out overnight. You wanna make sure that you soak it um, so that in the next day it's not super dry. So once we have that all mixed, we had to add more straw in order to get that super, super straw, heavy straw mixture. And then once we have that, then we can start bringing it over, one person on the outside, one person on the inside, and you wrap the baro around the bamboo, and the bamboo is what holds it together, and then you press it down underneath that so that you create that flat space, the flat wall. So. Let me show you uh, how that's going. We're gonna keep going along the bathroom today and the laundry space and wrapping around the bedroom and then we'll continue to the inside parts of the house later next week. Ah. 
So it's a bit difficult to do the mud plastering and filming at the same time. My camera is getting very filthy and I hope that it's still going to work. Um, but I'm trying to catch as much as I can. So we've made some progress with the laundry and it's looking great. So what you want to do is put your electricity wherever you would want, any kind of um, lights or switches or plugs or windows, that all goes built into the bamboo. most about earth and building is that you really can participate in the energy that goes into your home. Your home isn't just a manufactured piece that's come from industrially produced materials. It comes from natural materials that come from right beneath your feet. All of the walls are hand sculpted by you and your friends or family and you really get that energy when you walk into a natural space. You can feel that it was there was a lot of love put into it, and um, there's so much room for creativity as well. You can shape the walls. Any little curve is because you've given it that shape. So there's so much character in the home and um, good energy. Hello, good morning. So it is May 24th, 2021, and we were able to put the mud plaster up on our bathroom and our laundry space last week over two days with one day beforehand preparing all of the, the mud, the barro, the cob um, for that project and we've left it over the weekend to dry. We had, we didn't have any rain. It's been pretty overcast, humid, not too hot though. So what that's done for us is given us a very slow drying process, which helps with the curing process. So the faster that it dries, if it's exposed to full sun, then you're going to get big cracks. That's what we saw in our straw bale home, um, our straw bale shed. So because we've had these couple days where it hasn't been too hot, it's still humid enough for it to dry, um, and no rain, then we've been really lucky to not see too many cracks so far. Um, it is cracking and a little bit stickier than what I would have liked compared to the rest of the house, which was done a few years ago. Um, but that is because we had a soil that didn't have as much sand in it. So I tried to kind of estimate and go by feel, and I added a lot more sand to the mixture because I knew that the, the soil was very high clay, or it had a lot of clay in it and not enough sand. Even though we got it from the same place that we did last year, I think they had dug it up at a deeper level, so we got a lot of clay instead of that sandy topsoil that we were looking for. So um, I did add a lot more sand in, but now that we're continuing with the rest of the house this week, I am going to put in even more sand and probably some finer chopped straw just to prevent any cracking at all. So I'll show you what the walls look like now and this is a couple days after putting on the mud plaster. 
Okay, so this is the mud plaster now. This is the outside part of the bathroom. You can see that it, it's still a little bit sticky. There's still, um, I can still make an indentation in it, an impression in it. If I push it with my finger, I could still kind of blend the cracks in a little bit, but we do have these minor, these minor cracks, and this is because we didn't have enough sand in it. I need to put in a lot more next time, but I'm happy that now I know so I can do that for the rest of the house. This is the other side of the bathroom. We have another window here. We have a outlet here. And you can see the cracks that are coming through, but that's okay. We're going to mud plaster over this, actually with a lime plaster, um, in order to protect it and cover all those cracks. Keep it safe in the rain. This is the laundry space. It continues, we got all this done. This is still the laundry, and then this is starting with the closet and the bedroom. So we're wrapping up the outside first before we continue and go on the inside. It's still very, um, still dark in here because we're going to paint the walls with a lime or we're gonna have a lime plaster actually going on the inside wall as well. So it's gonna brighten up the space a lot, but we're going to be plastering over this. This will be the closet. We filled in each of the shelves with very tightly woven bamboo, and that is going to prevent the mud plaster from going through. And then we have two spaces here for clothes, hanging clothes, one on the top and one on the bottom. So one thing I didn't expect um, that we didn't have with the big house, the big part of the house, but with the smaller addition, is that it definitely smells like cow poop as it's drying. And I think that's because where the land came from, it's an open field, so I'm sure there was cows that were roaming and grazing there. So um, we do, we did not intentionally put cow manure into the walls, but um, that's actually something that they do do in a lot of cultures and a lot of traditional natural building because the cow manure has the grass that's finely shredded. And so when you have that finely shredded um, material, then that helps to hold the walls together. So the smaller your hay is, the smaller chops it is, and the better it will hold. So. With that smell, I'm sure there is some cow poop that made its way in there and it's helping to reinforce the structure. So this is what it looks like from the inside. This is the bathroom. That's gonna be a shower corner. This will all brighten up once we put the lime plaster on these walls, but it's definitely musty in here because it's drying, it's slow drying. So we'll have a little toilet in that section. I'm going to make a bamboo that we're, bamboo vanity that we're gonna plaster over as well in this section. And this is the laundry space. So this is all closed up with a little window there. We've also left parts opened to help with ventilation. So it also creates a nice lighting-like feature with the sun peeking through at the edge of the rafters. So we decided to not seal it up. That means you might get some birds and things in here, but we're living within nature. So that's the idea, that's okay. And this is going to be the edge of the laundry and bathroom and we'll have some storage in here and this nice little curved wall separates the bathroom from this hallway and our bedroom. So we were able to finish all of the wood last week as well. This is all wood that we had to uh, cantear, which is to do a 45 degree edge cut on each of the wood planks in order for them to fit and close because if you have it just where they're straight edges then you're going to get some gaps but when you have a 45 degree cut then you can overlap them at the edge and that helps create a closed closed look so it's not all matching you know some of them are these these are all just pieces on this end so each one is piece by piece so there's different colors and different sizes, but I, I like it that way. I like it that it's that it's all different. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys found it as cool as I did and hope you follow along to learn more about natural building.